Statistics show that every two minutes, someone in the United States is sexually assaulted. The difficult and often secret topic has been cast into the spotlight following claims that Hollywood mogul Harvey Weinstein forced himself onto more than 60 women. That news led to a wave of other accusations against other powerful men in the entertainment business. They include A-list actors and producers, as well as entertainment and news executives. Our Jennifer Merrily found out how that issue is impacting the conversation in the Twin Cities. I think it's happening all over the country. It definitely is, Frank, and it's starting a conversation for sure. I spoke with two groups about what they hope the recent public accusations mean for the future. What is appropriate? What, what where are the lines when it comes to a power situation? Accusations against Hollywood heavy hitters like Harvey Weinstein and Kevin Spacey prompted conversations among women in business. Director of Women in Networking, Teresa Thomas, says many members have experienced some type of sexual harassment or assault in the workplace. They're realizing that they're not so alone in some of these situations that they've had in their life. What they're really hoping for is by having these issues come to light that we then address them and work on them and, ha and set higher standards and expectations for how we treat each other. Terry McLaughlin, executive director of Mencasa, which provides resources for sexual assault programs, believes what's happening will impact the movement beneficially. I think we have an opportunity here to begin to change society, to reduce the frequency of this going forward. I think that's a unique opportunity with the magnitude of reports right now. She says it's predictable there are skeptics, but emphasizes we must believe victims that find the strength to come forward. When we start by believing, we absolutely create an environment that's safe for those victims. She believes we may be witnessing the beginning of what's to come. McLaughlin compares what's happening now to the Catholic sex abuse scandal. They didn't come forward until they felt it was safe to do so. And when they see that somebody else wasn't destroyed, wasn't damaged, that gives them some confidence to do so. Jennifer Mearley, WCCO 4 News. McLaughlin says while many are choosing to speak out, victims have the right to not tell their story. It's very much an individual decision. There are resources available. We have a link to Mincasa at WCCO.com. Good. Thank you, Jen. Mm -hmm.